So, guys want to hear a sea story? No, no, no. A Great Lakes story. <laughs> what a fucking rust bucket, Jesus Christ. When I met up with the ship, they were only running stone and coal in and out of Cleveland. And it was only like a six hour transit back and forth. My sleep was all messed up, but we were getting OT, so it wasn't bad. Working on the lakes was uh, was kind of crazy, it was like straight up rust belt stuff. It was like you were stepping back in time. Like the ship was built in the 70s, and the quarries and steel mills we were going to were probably there longer than that. It was uh, it definitely had its own flavor, that's for sure. Sit and watch. Not too bad. So one of my main jobs on the ship was to man the wenches and tend the lines when we would shift the boat up and down the dock. It uh it wasn't that hard, but it definitely took some finesse. And I definitely snapped a line or two. We got word that we'd be heading north. Stopping at Zug Island, then passing Detroit. Stopping at Bay City, going around the Mitt into Lake Michigan, and uh, going somewhere south of Milwaukee. Get stuck rowing the boat. Back to the ship. Somebody wants to go on shore. Be a sailor, they said. See the world. I'm in a rowboat outside Detroit. Rowing back to this fucking ship built in 1975. Uh. 
while up north we uh, we switch cargo to Jimson. It's the stuff drywall is made out of. And to say the least, it's a pain in the ass to get out of the tanks. But uh, life found a way. Four days left. And just like that, when the mail boat pulled up in Detroit, my relief came on and I got off. Time spent on the lakes wasn't bad. It was cool to see how things were done up north. The days were long and the work was pretty rough, but the crew made the voyage easy. Everyone from the goodies to the captain was pretty chill. Stewart's food was always amazing. Special shout out to my man Crazy Mo. Hope you're doing good, brother. Until next time, Sam Loud. Fair winds and following lakes?